Hey, this is Matt at ORATS, and today we're talking about our Excel-based API. We're going to be looking at the historic option information quick start. Now, there are 10 tabs. We'll be looking at historical data. Uh, we've talked about each one of these others in a, a video. The historic information has a drop-down with five different types of historical volatility. We'll walk through each one of these. The first one is the daily price. So I'll hop over to the historical data tab uh, and the drop down again, daily price, get data for Apple, widen that column, Apple, tr the trade date, what the st stock price was and what the volatility was on that date. The quarterly returns Again, in the drop down. So the quarterly returns are going to be useful in the implementer tab. Uh, one of the things that you can do is choose various quarters to backtest on solely and get returns just for those quarters. So an interesting application is to see how well uh, the stock did and you might choose various quarters to uh, backtest Apple, for example, based on a stock price or a volatility move. The third one is, is what we call our TOES, our Tested Option Infor Environment Strategies. And so basically what, what TOES does is it says it categorizes each day as far as the level of stock price in a high, medium, or low environment and the implied volatility in a high meeting or low environment. So again, for back testing, for example, you can test only how well a particular back test performed in the current environment. So let's just say Apple today is, well, let's look at, we'll, we'll scroll down. I'll freeze these titles and scroll down. So Apple's in a low stock, high vol environment right now. And the way that we categorize these, it's a 100 day moving average with a standard deviation around that. And if it's above that standard deviation, it's in a high. If it's at that standard deviation, it's in a medium. And if it's below it, it's in a low. So the stock, you'll often see low stock and then the volatility rises. So low stock, high volatility environment. We could go back and test, back test certain strategies uh, just when Apple was in that uh, particular uh, frame that what we call our toes framework and again we'll be showing in a different video how to back test on certain dates it's a very powerful tool in our back test all right the fourth is just what we call our stock info uh, stock info has some kind of basic ORAT strategy or, or information uh, and, and I'll just go through these it's uh, the ticker, again, the trade date, what the stock price was on that trade date. Uh, that's the actual stock price. The average 20-day volume. So what was the, the, the volume over the last 20 days in all the strikes, all the options? Um, what was the tick volatility? What was the implied volatility at the interpolated 28 days? What was the, that what was this reading, but the 200 day moving average of that. So you could compare where it was compared to the 200 day moving average. Average daily difference for a quarter. We're deprecating that column, but we left it in for some grandfathered users of this. Days to next to earnings is an important one. Uh, next to earnings, close to close, divided by implied what the implied R squared was, what the forecast R squared was for predicting the future volatility. The 100 day volatility divided by the implied volatility, the curvature or derivative and the slope or skew. And these are explained in a different video, but I just want to show you what's in here. Uh, the long term implied volatility, what we call our RIP value. Uh, ORATS does a forecast for the next 20 days of volatility and for the long-term volatility where it should be. 
uh, the forecast slope so you can compare the actual slope to the forecast and then we also do uh, earnings taken out of our historical volatility so you can compare what the actual volatility was uh, compared to the taking out the volatility uh, so this is an important uh, important number to look at okay so that is the that is the stock info and lastly the volatility info uh, this information actually will go to our uh, definition in, in this PowerPoint here uh, it's a little easier to see uh, ticker date implied volatility 30 day then interpolated calendar at the 30 day the month one at the money month two at the money month three after the money implied volatility this is the strike by strike slope and derivative that we saw in the other file 10 day close to close historical volatility 20 day 60 day 120 day 252 and then uh, ORATS has its own measure of volatility uh, that simulates hedging gamma and turning that into a volatility so it more accurately captures all the intraday moves and it's interesting to c compare those uh, differences uh, and that's an interesting way to, to pick stocks that might be uh, profitable to uh, gamma trade or gamma hedge so uh, we also talked about uh, these uh, uh, this is just another slide of that same information so uh, that's it on the historical information uh, again we hope you enjoy using the api sheet it's a very powerful sheet contact me at orats with any questions thank you